Alrighty then, let's do this. When I first started, I didn't know how to plow a driveway, so I decided to make this video for the me from three years ago. Please know that all driveways are different, different shape, different size, and each driveway will have its own set of rules. Must oblige and respect those rules, fellas and ladies out there. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk prep. If a customer hires you, it's always best to meet. During this meeting, you can introduce yourself, answer any questions, and mark out the property. I find this helps with the selling process. If this doesn't happen, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. Just use your head. Since the property won't probably be marked out, try to shovel the edges of the driveway first so you get a better lay of the land. Alright, so now you're ready to plow. My first tip is to always have a game plan. Here's a property I service. Here's a property on a piece of paper. On paper, I've sketched out how I'm going to plow this particular driveway. Check it out. When you're quoting for snow, you always quote for how much time it'll take. It's important to know what areas need to be shoveled and how long the driveway may take. Here's another property. I wanted to get your opinion here on what you thought the fastest way to plow this driveway. Um, we'll loop around. For tips and tricks here. on snow plowing, check out this video card above. It's going to be this one here. This is uh, the property right there. Boom. Just wanted to know how you thought I should plow this, man. I mean, she said I can put the snow on the sides, like right here and then right here. It's always a great idea to document the property with video, if possible, prior to the beginning of the season. Now here's a drawing for a basic driveway. I have a plan of attack. If the snow is light versus if it's heavy. But one thing you'll notice is I always plow the apron of the driveway first. The apron of the driveway is where the bottom half of the driveway meets the public road. I do this because I will get better traction. There's usually lots of wet, heavy, nasty stuff down here left over from the city plows. You'll need to decide where you're going to push that snow. Once that is done, you can drive up to the garage and back drag. My plow is a Boss HTX and it has something called downforce. Downforce improves scraping performance while back dragging by maintaining a consistent hydraulic downforce powered by a hydraulic accumulator. Downforce is an optional accessory on truck plow purchases and must be added at time of purchase. Downforce includes D4 specific plow box and controller. Since my plow is specific for a half ton truck, i.e. F-150s, 1500s, etc. These plows are lighter and something like D4 helps tremendously when back dragging. If you're looking to buy a plow, having one with downforce would be something to consider during the research phase. Alright, hopefully these tips have helped you. Please consider subscribing and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Perfect.